Hey, good day everybody. This is Joseko Hulu here in Tokyo and I'm today in the studio. I have a very special shoot today. So lately I've been doing a lot of work and work is means, you know, you have a client and they want you to do whatever they want and you don't have pretty much decisions on what to do there. Uh, you just have to make whatever they are expecting a little pretty. So I think uh, for a photographer it's very important to actually be able to do something creative for yourself. So um, today is, right now it's 9.30 p.m. and uh, everyone left the studio. As you can see it's all empty. And I have a couple of strobes here to play with and stuff. So I'm thinking to do just a fun shoot and I'm bringing a model today and she's, her name is uh, Yuri, we have shoot her before and she's very creative and we're gonna have like a lot of fun because we have a lot of ideas to do and she just went shopping today as well and she got some clothes and she got some stuff that we're gonna tear up and we're gonna make some markings and I don't know we're gonna do just a bunch of just random fun stuff and let's see what happens I mean the best the best job that you can make is usually when you get to creative and you get to work with creative people so today we don't have a makeup artist or hairstylist or or clothing stylist or anything else prop designers or anything else it's just it's just pure fun and uh, I'm gonna try to take as much video as I can during the process so uh, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started all right the model has arrived and um, we bring, a, we bring a lot of stuff. So we're gonna do this white look over here. It's just white backdrop with a white chair. And she's gonna be using like all black clothes just laid on the floor here. It's really cool style. I love her. She has like a lot of style. And I'm gonna show you guys what else she got. Um, this is the the changing room. I, I didn't show so much on the, on the previous episode over here, but you know, you have the curtain that you can close and you have a mirror in there. And um, she got a lot of nice clothes like there's this one with the tools and there's like sheer transparencies and jacket and a bunch of colors and then shoes oh my god look at that some shoes are super sick and then what else she got she got like more like jewelries and all her makeup and she's doing like all the makeup in there and yeah this is gonna be really fun she also has a youtube channel so definitely go check her out she's really fun although she only speaks japanese i think in most of the videos but um but she's really fun to work with and i'm gonna flip the camera out because i gonna show you guys my last creation in there so this is it the last version of um i call him onyx this is my little creation so I have a 110 lens over here with the G3 Velos and then the trigger, it's a Linhoff trigger, you can see in there. And it's all connected over here with, this is a remote trigger, this is from the studio. I didn't I didn't bring my pro photos today so I'm gonna be just using the, the normal studio lights in here because it's pretty much enough I find out. And it's connected by a sync cable to the digital back. Let me, let me turn this light for you guys. There you go. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it may be dark a little bit, but you can probably see it. So this is the exit of the DM33, and it goes into this. And this is my necklace. I've been showing that before. I changed the battery. I have a, a bigger battery over here. This actually can charge a whole phone, but <laughs> I'm just using to put some lights on. And obviously you have, um, I didn't want it to connect the digital back because this is a Pro 2, not the Pro 2D. So I didn't want it to connect the digital back directly to the lens. So what I'm doing is I have this hot shoe adapter right here and I'm using this cable all the way down here and connect it this way over here and that's what is triggering the camera. So I can change the lenses without doing anything and check this out without further ado. So I have my custom viewfinder. When you put it on the top, let me turn off the light for you. You see it's just a glow like that. It's not really that strong. When you put your eye here, it com goes completely dark. So it looks like that. And then when you open the lid, it starts spinning. So that's a cool effect right there. So I got a little microprocessor over here, an AT Tiny, uh, 40, AT Tiny 85, I think. And then there's a gyros gyroscope over here. Uh, it's actually an accelerometer, the MX2125. 
and everything is like really really like like what do you call that like DIY kind of thing I didn't I didn't want it to wait for uh, to print uh, one of those cheap um, circuit boards so I just made my own with just like cables and yeah that's my custom viewfinder and the interesting thing about this this setup right here is that as you can see there's a tether over here so I'm shooting tether to the laptop and the power seems to be okay so um, the camera would not the digital light would not shut off if you have the light set up where's the light at not language display and then you have the brightness at 20% as you can see it's completely bright I can see it perfectly um, but if you go 100% it will turn on but as soon as you take a picture it will, it will shut down so I just put it at 20% it may work a little higher uh, brightness but it, right now it's just like that so um, there you go just setting to the cart capture one pro as you can see I, I do have one of those new laptops with the Thunderbolt connection I don't have a any of those uh, firewires and I'm using the firewire 8 cable 800 cable with a little adapter so that was that was $30 and this was like $200 just because the connection to the digital back goes through here and this one goes a little more expensive but yeah that's the setup so uh, if you guys have any questions let me know of course all right first look is done we did 67 shots and if I could show you, I'm, I'm sure I can show you guys the time of the shots, but probably you cannot see it over here. I'm separating it probably like five seconds. I don't know if you can read it. But we did this, it's very simple black and white, just one light. It's using a chair, getting a couple of poses. And all of this is shot, shot up tethered. Then we got rid of the chair and we got some jumping scenes. Um, try with the socks and everything but I think this was one of the, the favorite ones so we got to see the, the close-up over here you can see the, the details on the face now the clothes seems completely black but it's actually not a, if you go to over here I'm popping out the contrast like crazy but if I get this out I can get all the details on this and this is the, like the beautiful thing of the digital backs So we can probably play with, you know, lights and the shadows in the background and everything. Now about the setup over here, it was just one light, no softbox, I guess the studio, there's a chair. That's it, I didn't move it or anything, and I'm sure it kind of far, a little more far in there. And there she is, looks like a lug, <laughs> running away. So let's, let's get shooting. All right, second setup. I put a beauty dish in there with a with a soft grade. As you can see, you get the the black black shadow in the middle. I put that power a little bit lower, and then I'm just using two strokes on the background like that. It's their full power, so you're gonna to get a lot of backlight and then a very soft light on the front to eliminate the model. And maybe if we need it, we're gonna put that other boom box, <laughs> not boom box, <laughs> the the boom stand. Uh, with the generator on top, it has a lot of power, so maybe I'm gonna blow up the background and just make it like a, like a very shiny, bright uh, sky. It's gonna be all white. She's wearing black as well, so we're gonna shoot this in colors, but probably we're gonna be washing out the the model's face or something. So probably it's gonna look good. All right, so pretty much the same setting, but instead of the, the light on the back, I put the lights on the front, not touching the background at all. And then I, I remove the socks uh, out of the beauty dish, put the power out a little bit, and I just have like this setup. So the, the beauty dish is actually pretty low, but I'm shooting sure very low like this, and the model's staying in there. And this is kind of the, the shots we're getting right now. Kind of very fashion, fashion closed. And of course the beautiful detail with the, with the digital back just amazing it's been working really nice uh, sometimes I'm actually I get excited with the model and I shoot too fast and I kind of wanted to take this time but the model is changing so I'm gonna show you what happens over here so you can see the digital black over there and I can click here 
and you can see this green light turns on and then it shows the thing over here so it takes a couple of seconds when it shows here so if I do this again turns on and then it changes I'm gonna move it a little bit so I'm gonna point over there where there's nothing so you can see it literally changes over here so check on the green light over there and then it shows up so now if I try to shoot faster I'm gonna turn it this way shoot and then as soon as I see the, the stable green light I'll take another picture stable green light I'll take another picture and then you see the digital bag just ch shut down now immediately over here you're gonna see the digital bag trying to set up again as soon as it gets power of course just come over here to the settings and the camera over here it says camera not attached so maybe I did it too fast it's not it's not coming back but over here the power as you can see is actually turning on and it does take a couple of time now once it's on over there in the computer you're gonna see when it's completely on actually you should see um, a message popping out of the capture one and it says that uploading the data so basically it's just uploading the the color corrections and everything that I've been doing and when it doesn't do that then you have to actually come over here and undo this thing so it says waiting for connection is not detecting the connection the computer freaked out it was receiving some images and then it stopped in the middle of the way so uh, don't be scared you need to you don't need to turn it off from here you can actually just disconnect it from here like this and this is a good time to check how long it takes over here so I'm gonna put it in here one two three and this is kind of pretty much how long it takes to, to turn on now one thing is I do have a memory card over here and you can see on the computer maybe you can see like message right there it says uploading the data I don't think I can make it on time and then it beeps and here it is and now over here in the computer you will be able to see there is Mamiya DM33 no lens information um, this is bull because I'm using an RC so they will not give me any information but you can still set the white balance and everything and it will work, work for all the shoots now with the new firmware update you can actually shoot tethered and as soon as you shoot tethered you can see the last image over here you cannot edit or anything but it will be here so as soon as it, it comes back you can actually start taking pictures again and you gotta wait for that stable light count like a three seconds and then you can shoot again so you can go straight light one two three and then stable light one two three and then stable light one two three and as you can see the digital black will pretty much stay forward there so again stable light one two three and then it will light one, two, three. And it's, it's definitely just like that. Just time yourself. But sometimes I see the model like something, do something really cool or whatever. And I'm like, ah, I just want to shoot again. But it doesn't really let me do that. Now, the timing is actually pretty interesting. You shoot over here. You see that came back, but this is not done yet. So you have to time yourself a little bit slower. <laughs> Which is a good thing for many people, you know, it slows you down. But if if you mistakenly shoot something faster, it's not gonna get it. It's gonna shut down the digital bag and then it's gonna take another 20 seconds to get back on. And all the pictures will be here. Obviously, I'm sharing, I'm sharing it with Capture Pilot. And I cannot show you right now because I'm using the phone to record, but I, I'm, actually you can see the pictures on the phone coming up. カタはちょめて。カタはちょめ。そうそうそうそう。あ、
call it. Call show me. Okay, so 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 so. I go hit some yo. Alright, everybody's 44 a.m. and we just wrapped up the shoot. Now I have to get everything back for the next photographer in the morning. Put the beauty dish on the back and put all the straps on there. Wrap up the backdrop and everything else. So now the model is selecting a couple of pictures over there. The camera is ready. And you want to say hi? This is Yuri. Yeah, Yuri. thank you. Good morning. <laughs> she hasn't sleep and she has a photo shoot at seven, eight. Uh -huh. At seven. She starts a photo shoot at seven in the morning, so like three, four more hours. And yeah, That's she's so the most amazing model I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like every day she's working, super hard working girl. So yeah, I look forward to see all the pictures and everything. And I have one more announcement to make. This guy, this digital bag, is heading all the way to Switzerland. And uh, yeah, it's gonna have a new owner, so. I'm gonna get home, pack it, and ship it all the way to Switzerland. So yeah, this was the last time I used it. It doesn't even belong to me anymore. So it's perfectly working. <laughs> all right, see you guys, bye-bye. Bye. Bye bye. Nemoi. -bye. Okay.